Ever wanted to make an enemy that only moves when you're not looking at it? In this tutorial, we'll create a weeping angel style AI in Unreal Engine. It'll stand perfectly still when you face it, but the moment you turn your back, it creeps closer. Step one is creating a brand new project in Unreal Engine 5. Choose the first person template and make sure starter content is turned off. We don't need the extra meshes for this tutorial. This will give us a clean level with a first person player ready to go. Step two is creating a new level. Go up to file, choose new level and select basic level. That gives us a flat floor, some light and a sky. Nice and simple. Because we started from the first person template, the project already has a game mode and pawn set up. So when we hit play, we've still got full movement controls right away. Step three is bringing in the angel mesh. This part's optional. You can use whatever you like, even just a placeholder cube, but I'll be using a silver angel statue from Fab. Click the Fab button, search for silver angel statue and add it to your project. Once it's downloaded, right click the static mesh and choose convert to skeletal mesh. When the pop-up shows up, just hit convert. Then rename the new mesh to weeping underscore angel to stay organized. Step four is adding a navigation mesh so our angel can move. Go to the quickly adds a project button, search for nav mesh bounds volume and drop one into the level. In the details panel, reset its location back to 000 by clicking the little arrow. Then scroll down to the brush settings. Set X to 10,000, Y to 10,000 and Z to 1,000. That's big enough to cover the whole basic level plane. To check it, press P on your keyboard. The walkable area will light up in green, showing where the AI can move. Step five is creating the Weeping Angel Blueprint. In the content browser, make a new folder called Blueprints. Inside that, create a Blueprint class and choose Character. The Character Parent class is what allows it to walk around on the navigation mesh. Name it BP underscore Weeping Angel. Open it up, go to the viewport, and in the components panel, set the skeletal mesh to our angel. Now fix the transform. Lock the scale and set everything to 0.3 so it's not oversized. Rotate it negative 90 degrees on the Z axis so it faces the blueprint's forward arrow. That's important because the arrow tells Unreal which way it will move. Finally, move the Z location down to negative 70 so it sits properly on the ground. Step six is setting up the logic in our blueprint. Open up BP underscore weeping angel and go to the event graph. You'll see begin play, actor begin overlap and event tick. We only need event tick here, so delete the other two if you wanna keep things clean. From event tick, drag out a branch node. Think of a branch as an if statement. It checks a condition every frame. Now let's grab the player. Drag out a get player character node. That just gives us a reference to the player pawn. From there, pull out get actor location. This tells us the exact position of the player in the world. Also drag out get actor forward vector. That gives us the direction the player is facing. Next, we need the angels location. Add another get actor location, but this time for self. Subtract the angel's location from the player's location. That creates a vector pointing from the angel to the player. Finally, drag off that and add normalize. Normalizing shrinks the vector down to a unit length, so we only care about direction, not distance. 
This sets us up to check if the player is looking at the angel or not. Step 7 is checking if the player is looking at the angel. From the normalize node, drag off and add a dot product node. Then connect the player's forward vector into the bottom pin. A dot product compares two directions. If the number is close to one, the player is looking straight at the angel. If it's close to negative one, they're looking the opposite way. Next, drag off the dot product and add a greater than node. Set the value to 0.75. That number controls the vision cone. At 0.75, the player has to be looking almost directly at the angel. Try lowering or raising it to see how strict you want it. Finally, connect the boolean result into the condition pin of the branch. Now Unreal can check every frame whether the player is looking at the angel or not. Step 8 is making sure the angel is actually visible to the player. Right now we only check if they're facing it, but what if there's a wall in the way? That's where a line trace by channel comes in. From the true pin of the branch, add a line trace by channel. A line trace is like an invisible laser beam that checks what it hits between two points. For the start point, drag out a get player camera manager, then add get camera location. Connect that to the start input on the line trace. For the end point, drag out get actor location from the angel and connect it. That means we're tracing straight from the player's eyes to the angel. It's not the most efficient method. In a bigger project, you'd probably aim at a specific boat or socket, but this works just fine for our statue. Now the angel only counts as visible if the player is looking at it and there's nothing blocking the view. Step 9 is making the angel actually move or stop. From the line trace by channel, add another branch. Plug the return value into the condition. That way we're checking if the trace actually hit the angel. If it's true, add an AI move to node. For the pawn, drag off and get reference to self. For the target actor, grab get player character. Now the angel will move toward the player. If it's false, drag off and add stop movement immediately. This stops the angel as soon as it's blocked from view. Make sure your blueprint has a character movement component so this works. And don't forget the first branch we made at the start. Drag the false output into the AI move to node too. That way, whenever the player isn't looking, the angel starts creeping closer. Step 10 is slowing the angel down and testing it out. Go back to the viewport of the Weeping Angel Blueprint and select the character movement component. In the details panel, change the walk speed from 600 to about 300. 600 feels way too fast, but 300 gives it that creepy, slow chase. Now drag one or a few angels into your level. Hit play and you'll see the angel watching you, and slowly following whenever you look away. And that's it, a nice quick tutorial for your horror games and there's so much more you can add to it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you got stuck or needed a guide, I have the written version linked in the pinned comment. New Unreal video every Wednesday. Love you guys, bye.